Welcome back to Welsh Miniature Board Gamer. And today we're going to have another go at building a sort of sewer entrance, but this is a bit more of a DIY version without using any of the 3D printed uh, pieces that I used previously in my last video that I did. So we've got uh, this expanded polystyrene and I've got a block of wood, uh, MDF, and simply just breaking off some uh, pieces of the expanded polystyrene just to give us a bit more of a a sort of a ragged look because I didn't want it being a completely a complete perfect square because that might look a bit strange so I want this to be sort of carved into some sort of natural rock formation uh, it could be magical because I, I quite like the idea of it being magical but uh, yeah so I might use those uh, 3d pillars so I'm, I'm just working out sort of positioning if I did being able to move a miniature in between them etc so now I've got this, um, what was it, it's like a kitchen towel roll and I'm going to just force it into the gap, just rotating it to make a gap to cut through the polystyrene and then just carefully pull it out like so and you know that you've got the right sort of dimensions for that tube like so so next I'm going to have to cut off the tube, obviously, uh, to get it to fit in. Uh, but first of all, I'm, I'm just clearing it out just to make sure that it fits in quite snugly. So I'm just going to cut with a scalpel just along the um, tube. It doesn't have to be perfect, you know, uh, if it's a bit rough, it won't matter. I've rotated around so I've got the clean cut side sort of put, pointing outwards so the rough side if you will is on the inside then I'm using this PVA glue just dousing it in uh, PVA as you can see and with a wet brush just spread it around where it's gonna have contact get it on the base nicely push in the tube so it's where it should be now all the glue is gonna keep everything in place and put some weight on it in order to hold it down give it some nice adhesion so next I've got this um, filler and I've mixed it up with some grey black uh, paint emulsion paint uh, just to make it a bit gooier I've also uh, added some uh, PVA glue to it so um, yeah and then I'm just as you can see just applying it all over just to hide the bobbliness of the rock formation if you like and we're going to give it a good covering all over so this is what it looks like once it's done now I'm going to sort of rough up the base a bit with the same filler and you know just give it a bit of um, interest now if you've got uh, some sort of modeling compound or um, stuff like that you could use that instead you know just plaster that all over it and cover it up and that will work just as good this is a bit fine and not quite as strong as the um, modeling compound but it'll do so while that's all wet I'm gonna drop some gravel of various um, grades onto the book base here just to give it sort of a rough looking terrain And I'm tapping it down just to make sure that it's adhered good enough. So I'm just throwing it on. If something lands somewhere I don't really want it, I'll move it around until I get it exactly right. So in the tunnel as well. So now we come to, I want like railings on the uh, sewer entrance so I'm using one of these you know q-tips uh, earbuds whatever you want to call them and I'm cutting the bars to size like so and then I'm just gonna glue it in place using some super glue now I've got some really horrible cheap runny super glue here and I keep sticking myself to the project more than the actual pipe work but uh, it kind of works so this one I've bent over so it looks like something has forced its way out of the entrance so you know 
it, it might be in part of the game, might be part of the game, but it might be just for sake of adding interest to the piece. So as I say, just gluing them down with super glue. Like so. So after that, I've decided actually I do want to add this dead cow that I've got on the piece to show that, to further emphasize that there is something living in this sewer. So I, I've just forced the dead cow down with some super glue at the entrance. Then I'm going over with this sort of dark grey. This is actually the same colour that I mixed in with the filler previously. So I'm going over it again, but this time just painting it with straight up emulsion paint. So it's gonna just cover everything and give it an even stronger coat, you know, that they'll protect it because these games pieces tend to get battered around a little bit, so um yeah. It should, it should give it a bit more strength. Make it, so we're making sure that we're getting inside the cave, uh, the sewer entrance as well, because that's about the only place where, um, where my huge brush won't get, so I have to use a smaller one here. Now at this point I'm going to apologise because I haven't actually uh, finished this project, so I'm going to take you up to the point where I've done all this sort of thing before I actually come around to painting it because, you know, at least I've shown you how to build it. Maybe next video I'll show you how I finished off the paintwork. But basically, if you want to build it, this is how you build it. And then the next step will be how you can paint it or how you can decorate it. So I'm going over even the 3D printed uh, cow I go over with this emulsion. It, you know, it's going to hide some of the... Um, detail but not a lot I think it'll be okay so that's it for this video uh, I hope you enjoyed it uh, leave a like if you want and a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can but for now goodbye from Welsh miniature ball gamer